How many times have you gotten an alert on your phone that someone was trying to access your social media account? Or that you've gotten a friend request from someone you're pretty sure you were already friends with? Hacking and spoofing of social media accounts is extremely common and can be dangerous and just really, really annoying. So I spoke with technology expert Burton Kelso about the difference between hacking and spoofing and how we can protect ourselves. The big difference between spoofing and hacking is the fact that if your account is spoofed, it just means that a cyber criminal has located your account. They will take your credentials, they will take your social media picture, and they'll create a duplicate account, which then they will use to target your friends on both Instagram and on Facebook. Now, if your account is hacked, that means a criminal has discovered your password on the dark web. They will actually log into your account and change the password so that you no longer have access to it then they will send out either spam messages on your feed on Instagram or Facebook, or they will use Facebook Instant Messenger or Instagram Direct Messenger to send out spam messages to everyone. We hear a lot about it with, you know, don't click on emails that you don't know. Now we're getting kind of those smishing text messages. But why is social media the hot target? Because of the pandemic, a lot of people have moved to communicating through social media. Obviously, now with uh, email phishing schemes, everyone is aware that mm -hmm. if you get a message or an unknown message from somebody, then it's probably a phishing scheme. But on social media, the problem is, is that when you get a direct message, it looks like it's coming from a friend because you've got a photo, you've got a full name. So at first glance, it looks like a legitimate account. So it's easier for criminals to target people on social media because they're more likely to click on those links. And it's not just celebrities or people. I mean, anybody can become a victim. Yes, anybody become, can become a victim because it all boils down to just a numbers game with cyber criminals. They don't care if you've got 10 followers or they don't care if you've got 10,000 followers. It's all about the complete numbers that they can get from social media. So they're not necessarily targeting you. They're just wanting to target everyone on Facebook. And the best way to do it is to... Uh, get access to accounts, spoof them, hack them, and that way they can have more people they can send these spam messages to. All right, Burton, you've got ways for us to keep our accounts safe. Where do we start? Well, the first thing, it has to be a community effort with social media. So if you see a friend's account that's hacked, you need to report that account on Facebook or Instagram immediately. Then also, too, you need to notify your friends so that they can take steps in changing their profile pic. Next, and on Facebook and Instagram, it's time to make your accounts private. Criminals target accounts where they can see a friends list because if they can see who you're connected to, it makes it easier for them to uh, send out spam messages. So go through into settings on both Instagram and Facebook and make sure that you hide your account or at least hide your friends list so that way criminals won't see your account as a target. Next is you need to make sure that you change your passwords on a regular basis because uh, criminals will get your passwords off of the dark web, whether it be you accidentally gave some information or if a large business suffered a data breach or if your information was just sold on the dark web. Always go through the process of changing your password so that way if a criminal comes across an old password and they try to log into your social media account, then they won't be able to because you're in the process of just uh, changing those passwords on a regular basis. And it doesn't matter if you're both using Instagram and Facebook, make sure that you're using different passwords for all of your social media accounts. I know some people will combine their Instagram and Facebook accounts, but you don't want to use the same password because with the case of Instagram and Facebook, if criminals get access to one password, then they've got access to both accounts. How do we know if our stuff is out on the dark web? There is a website that you can go to called haveibeenpwned.com where you can check to see if your email has been leaked. You can check to see if your phone number has been leaked. And then also this website allows you to put in your password to see if you're using a common password that cyber criminals already have access to on the dark web. So I hear a lot about like the password managers. What is that? Because I... It, like, how does that help? How does that work? Now, password managers are an excellent tool that you can use to combat cyber criminals. The way that it works is that you can either use the one that's enabled in your favorite web browser, such as Safari or Chrome or Microsoft Edge, and it allows you to save those passwords. When you do that, it allows you to have different passwords for all of your online accounts. And the bonus is, is that 
if you're using a password manager, whether it be your browser or something like LastPass, you will get a notification letting you know that your password is leaked and is floating around the dark web. Mm, scary to think that that's happening, but again, like past sentences, right? Yeah. Like, uh, I love ice cream 543 or something is better than a word. Than just one word. You had experience recently. <laughs> I know. this. I have a Twitter. My Twitter got hacked. And it, thank you for everyone who reached out and said, I think something's happening. They were sending out a tweet every second. Oh, geez. It, I had thousands of tweets and I had to go in. And it took forever for you to get back in because they go in and site. change your password. Yes, it did. It did. Uh, so be careful out there. Constantly change your password. Burton, thank you. You can go to BurtonKelso.com for more information. It's